Hey Scorpio, how are you doing? This reading is for Scorpio for the week of April the 29th to May the 5th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Scorpio, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Scorpio sun. I also have three placements of Scorpio in my chart, so I get you guys. I feel you guys. I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place, so chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. What is going on for the amazing and most fabulous Scorpios? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? I feel really out of breath. So take a pause, take a breather. Present time, the high priestess, major arcana for Pisces. What's coming towards you? The 10 of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What you are focused on is the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. What is in your blocked and challenged position is the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your outcome is the Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay, Scorpio, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is about sacred knowledge and wisdom that you carry. Trusting your intuition, following your intuition, letting your intuition be your best guide. And it is connected to your heart. So be loyal to what it is that you love. There also could be some kind of generosity and offering coming in towards you. Or you could be very generous at this time. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, hardworking, dedicated, loyal. It speaks of commitment. But the High Priestess could be a, keeping something quiet or hidden. Or there's a level of mystery or secrecy. Observing, watching. This is a non-action card and the Two of Swords is a non-action card. So let's see what this High Priestess is. There's also a word called prescience, which is knowing something before it happens. But maybe you're keeping it quiet. Or there could be somebody like observing you. Observing you at work. And the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Well, that's spicy. And you know, the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. But it speaks of creativity, passion, desire, attraction. There also could be a person very attracted to you. Yet this person might not be speaking to you or not talking to this person. You might be aware of them. I would also say with this High Priestess and this Ace of Wands, do something that you love. There's some kind of strong pull or a strong intuition. Let's see what this Ten of Pentacles is. The Ten of Pentacles is your end-all, be-all, your big old house, your white picket fence. It does speak of commitment, family, friends, abundance, prosperity. Could be a job, stability. Could also be something about um, going to see a friend or a family member. Or making really good money. And the devil. Major Arcana for Capricorn. And the devil energy can be an attachment. So with this attachment here, Scorpio, or a fixation, the two pentacles in your blocked and challenged position is my all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. Working from home or wanting a certain person or this person around you a family member a friend there's something about the shadow aspect here 
um, a fear, fearing like you're not going to get your Ten of Pentacles. Or somebody is like literally jealous or obsessed. This is like an obsessive energy. Or you might be feeling like you're stuck chained to a job situation or a toxic commitment. So going back to work and career, why do you want to do this job? Are you only doing it for the money? Devil energy can also be drug addiction, alcoholism, sex addiction, fantasy, illusion. Or there could be somebody who is toxic in your job situation, a toxic living situation, or a need for you to have more fun. Because this is like workaholic syndrome. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles is. Or somebody is like jealous and envy of what it is that you have. And this person could say mean things or do mean things. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Focus on you, focus on your independence and place healthy boundaries. There also could be somebody who is tempting you with a good time or baiting or hooking you. It's like a temptation. And the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Finding balance, stay balanced, stay grounded. You know, Queen of Pentacles is about nurturing self. Self-care, self-love. But that Six of Swords is about getting out of choppy waters into more smoother sailings. There also could be somebody about um, something to do with your finances being tied up. Or a toxic job situation, a toxic living situation. This could be like old outdated patterns, habits. And again, going back to like work, 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 work. And it Again, your challenge and block position is all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. So I feel like your intuition is trying to get your attention on this ace of wands. Which could be like creativity, passion, desire, but it does speak of attraction. Yet this person isn't taking action. But they could be like jealous or obsessed or watching you. <laughs> Four swords, needing more rest, needing more sleep. Two pentacles is about weighing up your options. Or you have a lot on your plate. So your blocked and challenged position is some kind of confusion. Or your agenda is too full. And when your agenda is extremely full, it's easy to drop the ball. And the reason why it's so easy to drop the ball is because your energy is over there, your energy is over there, your energy is giving you're constantly all over the place. And therefore, you can't give your undivided attention to what is in front of you. That can also be wanting an individual or somebody wanting you, but it has something to do with like a commitment or finances. So if somebody sees you making really good money, um, use your intuition. Is this just passion? Or are you attracted to a certain individual because they have status? Let's see who this two of pentacles is. So you're having a hard time. Like, should I go left or should I go right? You're having a hard time of weighing up your options here. Should I stay in this toxic job situation even though I hate it? Don't lie to yourself. Or should I stay at this, you know, whatever this is. There also could have been somebody who juggled you in the past or Capricorn energy. 
You have Capricorn, Capricorn, and Capricorn. Some of you have Capricorn energy in uh, one of your placements, like heavy Capricorn. But there also could be like a need to move away, mother yourself, and the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Knight of Pentacles is... And I too, Pentacles, is my all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. So a need for you to have fun. No wonder why I was out of breath. Go out, breathe fresh air, be out in nature. For some of you, you just need to take a trip or go somewhere. Be by a body of water. Self-care is not... Selfish, it's selfless and necessary. That Knight of Pentacles can also be an energy moving slower than molasses. So you want something like yesterday. And it could be some kind of commitment like rushing into something. But it might not be healthy for you. Or there's no movement. What is this? Don't move. Because the two of swords here in the outcome is a stalemate at a crossroads. Should I go left or should I go right? Well, that's easy. Take the blindfold off. See the situation for what it is, not for what it was. And find new passion because your intuition is like trying to get your attention. But you might not even be listening to your intuition. There could be like a blockage. And maybe you make really great money. But at the same time, you're not having fun. My stomach is growling. So you might not even be even taking your breaks. So again, you're being mean to yourself here. And this is about dealing with a two-faced individual. Whether this is a two-faced boss, whether this is a two-faced brother, sister, mother, anything. Because one's a truth and one's an illusion. So this is a need for you to not lie to yourself. So if I said... How do you like your job? Oh, I just love my job. I just love my boss. I love all the duties my boss puts on me. That's a lie, right? So don't live a lie. Take the mask off. It's a need for you to be vulnerable. But there's a fear here of being vulnerable. Or somebody is wearing a mask. And then nine of cups. I was going to say the knight of cups. The nine of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. And the Nine of Cups is indulgence, splurging, spending a lot of money. Or somebody heavily indulges in booze or whatever they indulge in. That can also be something about um, spending too much money. Like splurging. And turning a blind eye to it. So if somebody is like, um, this is an energy of not game playing. But somebody who like throws gifts at you and you're mistaking it for like love, but it's not. Nine of Cups can also be dealing with somebody who is selfish, self-centered, feels entitled to your energy. This person could be codependent on you or you're staying in a relationship due to um, abandonment issues or something there. There also could be an energy here of you're blocking your wish fulfillment or you're blocking some kind of fulfillment and it is about joy pleasure fun happiness
and avoiding some kind of conversation or you're avoiding a red flag. But see how beautiful and mature this energy is? I don't know. Something's stuck here. Stuck, stuck, and stuck. I'm getting a little bit of a stubborn energy. Open spirit guide one way. Yeah, I would just really pay attention to your intuition here. Like, this feels very unhealthy. It might be an old unhealthy pattern. So going back to this workaholic syndrome, what you are blocking is your happiness. And for some of you, this is like a two-faced individual. This person is like, I'm doing this, but really they might be boozing or they might be spending a lot of money. I don't know. Somebody's not being transparent with you. In a job situation, this is like get rich quick scheme. Don't fall for it. Go within. So the answers you seek are not external to you. It's within. Your life plan is unfolding as it should. So you don't have to force anything. You don't have to push anything. Everything will happen in the right timing here. But you're ignoring... Like if this is somebody... Okay, so let's just say you meet somebody, okay? And you're really attracted to this person because they have money or they have some kind of it's superficial something is superficial here Scorpio or this person is attracted to you in this way but there also could be like obsession like money hungry or being in a job situation you hate it but you make good money or being a, a toxic relationship but you're attracting a person because of what they have or what they make or what their status is so just be careful with that because I feel I feel like that person could be trying to enter your life, yet this person might indulge or feel entitled to, to your energy. To overcome, you first have to climb. A release and let go of old patterns, old habits, old outdated beliefs. Or there's somebody who's like a little bit obsessed or could be at a job, could be a family member, a friend. It's somebody in your community that is like either jealous and envy of what it is that you have or what you've made. But I feel like you made this for yourself. And I would be like super stingy here. Avoid overspending, avoid splurging, avoid um, over drinking, anything like that. Excessive eating, anything like that. It's toxic and detrimental to your health and or if you're avoiding taking your breaks it just feels doesn't feel like so heavy it just feels a little bit like I don't know not good for you dragon beware of self delusion and uh, beware of self delusion it means be aware of the stories you're telling yourself Broom, new home, new attitude. There's that Ten of Pentacles. So you could be moving into a new home. Vaz, a secret admirer. Oh boy. There it is. Mystery or secrecy. Somebody who is very attracted to you, but make sure this person is attracted to you for the right reasons.
unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. And just going back to the high priestess, like you really got to trust your gut on this one. Because somebody is like either watching you at work or like borderline obsessed with you. I also feel like this person could even like drive by your home or something. It's not in a creepy way. Crack cup. Dissatisfaction with life. If you are bored or discontent or dissatisfied in any area of your life here, Scorpio, it's your soul desiring growth. And your intuition is trying to get your attention. You're, you're avoiding some kind of happiness or wish fulfillment. And for some of you, somebody feels entitled to your energy or feels blocked to you. And it's actually making them like more attracted to you. You have a lot of um, Capricorn, Pisces. There's Virgo here. And Aquarius. Or somebody lied here. Well, family wishes come true. Oh, you're going to get what it is that you want. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of jealousy when this comes in. I, there could be money coming in here. Inheritance. So there's just something. And there's jealousy. Pin. New job. Career. And you have new home. New career. New home. New attitude. Secret admirer. And new job. Career. What is this? Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And yeah, there's going to be jealousy about it. Temptation will test you. Don't fall back into old patterns. A path with money is waiting for you to find. Wow. Scorpio, what is going on here? Who's the secret admirer? Reveal yourself. And they're like, nope. But they're very attracted to you. And I feel like it has something to do with what you're doing for work and career or the way that you present yourself. I don't know. It is in your environment, but I feel like it might even be closer to home. So this could be like a jealous sibling, a jealous brother, somebody around you is seeing you do really well. Um, and just be aware of this self delusion of like, nah, that will never happen to me. It only happens for other people or just pay attention again to why you want this person. I feel like there could be glossing over or blocking right off the get-go that this person might have bad money habits or they spend too much money or there's something about um, love bombing. Watch the love bombers. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.